Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2004 horror comedy film called Shaun of the Dead. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. It's last orders at the Winchester Public House and Shaun is finishing his drink. His girlfriend Liz wants him to spend more time with her and less time with his best friend Ed at the Winchester. Her flatmates David and Diane encourage her while Ed continually interrupts and messes around. Sean promises to change as time is called at the bar. The next morning, Sean gets up and immediately sits down to play computer games with Ed. Ed reminds him that he has work and he gets up again. As he brushes his teeth, his housemate Pete tells him that the front door was left open again last night. He tells Sean that Ed needs to go home. Pete speaks with Ed and asks him to at least tidy up and write down any phone messages. Ed responds by saying, yep, yep, yep. As Sean leaves, Liz calls and leaves a message on the answering machine reminding him to book a nice restaurant for their anniversary that evening. As Sean walks to catch the bus, a news report can be heard playing on the radio about a deep space probe that has re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and broken apart over a populated area. There are also disturbing reports in the newspaper at the shop. On the bus, he notices a lady collapse at the bus stop. At work, there are many staff members absent, which leaves Sean in charge of a group of young workers. One named Noel is a particularly annoying subordinate and is making personal telephone calls during a team meeting. Sean tries to sell a TV to some customers. As he flicks through the channels, there are news reports of bizarre incidents throughout the country. He is visited by his stepdad, Philip, who reminds him to visit his mother tomorrow and to bring some flowers. Noel challenges him that he shouldn't be taking social calls while at work. At that moment, Liz rings and asks if he got her message about their date tonight. Distracted by Noel, Sean just says, Yep, yep, yep. As Sean buys flowers for his mom, he notices a hobo who grabs a pigeon and goes to eat it. On the bus home, a sick man is coughing over him, and car radios can be heard reporting some kind of incident. There appears to have been some kind of accident when he gets off the bus, but he is distracted when he meets his friend Yvonne. She asks about Liz and suddenly, Sean remembers that he should have booked the restaurant. He rushes home to do it. The restaurant is fully booked and Sean knows that he'll be in trouble. When Liz rings, Sean confesses his mistake. When he suggests that they go to the Winchester instead, she hangs up. He rushes around to see her, but David and Diane won't let him in. He manages to speak with her, but she says she is going out with David and Diane instead. They argue, she storms out, and dumps him soon after. In the background, disturbing news reports continue on the television and the radio. Sean goes to the Winchester and meets Ed. Ed tries to cheer him up and says it's not the end of the world, as a shadowy figure bangs on the door. They then walk home together. At 4 a.m., they're playing music really loud, and they wake Pete up. He's a little angry. Pete tells Sean to stop defending Ed and to make him leave. Ed asks why he has a bite on his hand. He got bitten by a crackhead on his way home from work. Later, Sean passes out in the kitchen. The next morning, he goes to the shop, seemingly oblivious to the zombie apocalypse that has taken place overnight. He slumps down in his chair and switches on the TV. There are many news reports about the incident. Ed says that there is a girl in the garden, and they go to investigate. As they call out, she doesn't respond, so Ed throws a stone at her head. They think she's drunk. She leers towards Sean, and as he tries to fend her off, Ed takes a photograph. He notices that there's something wrong with her eyes. As she leers towards him again, he pushes her back, and she is impaled on a metal pole. But she gets up again. They turn around, and there are more zombies in the garden. They run inside and try to call the emergency services as the zombies leer at the window. The news recommends that everyone stay inside and keep the doors and windows barricaded. A zombie walks in through the open front door and they fight him off with random objects until Ed smashes its skull with an ashtray. The news reporter says that the zombies can be stopped by removing the head or destroying the brain. They gather objects and throw them at the zombies in the garden. They eventually kill them with a cricket bat and a shovel from the shed. Realizing that Pete could also by now be a zombie, they call his name, but there is no answer. Sean's mom, Barbara, calls and tells him that Philip has been bitten by some men who tried to break into the house. They formulate a plan which involves getting his mom, killing Philip, fetching Liz, and going to the Winchester to hide. Sean goes to the toilet and notices that a zombified Pete is standing in the shower. Sean runs down the stairs and he and Ed jump in the Pete's car and drive away. They arrive at Barbara's house. Philip's Jaguar is in the driveway and Ed admires it as Sean goes inside. He tells his mom that he's going to take her somewhere safe. While she makes a cup of tea, Sean goes to find Philip. He raises the cricket bat to kill Philip but at the last minute realizes that he is still okay. Sean still wants to take his mom away. He tells his mom that Philip has been unkind to him over the years, but Barbara is angry that they won't get on with her husband. They all leave the house together. Ed has crashed Pete's car, so he says that they'll have to take Philip's Jaguar instead. Suddenly, 
Zombies appear and bite Philip's neck. They all get into the car and race away. The group arrives at Liz's. Sean gets out of the car and fends off zombies before climbing through the window of her flat. He convinces Liz, David, and Diane to leave with him and they head to the Winchester. Barbara meets Liz for the first time in the car while Philip becomes delirious. Sean tells Ed to pull over as Philip dies. Barbara says that he isn't dead, but that's because he has become a zombie. They all get out of the car and continue on foot. En route, they pass an almost identical group of survivors led by Yvonne. They make pleasantries and carry on their separate ways. As they pass through the gardens, Barbara trails behind. Sean goes back to get her but is attacked by a zombie, which he manages to fight off. Barbara seems a little dazed. Sean looks to see if the coast is clear. It is not. There are many zombies gathered outside the Winchester. David is being very condescending towards Sean. Diane comes up with a plan to pretend that they are all zombies and walk through the crowd into the Winchester. It seems to work, but they find that the door is locked. Sean calls out to the landlord inside. Suddenly, Ed's phone rings. Sean berates him for messing things up, but Liz gets his attention as all the zombies are staring at them. David throws a dustbin through the window, but Sean worries that they'll just follow them inside. Sean creates a distraction and while the zombies follow him, the others go inside. 20 minutes pass and David thinks that Sean must be dead and suggests that they block the window. David tries to take command but the others don't seem confident in him. Everyone goes to get a drink and Barbara seems more confused. Sean suddenly appears. David asks how they lost the zombies. He says that it wasn't hard and he got in by the back door. Later, they all sit in the dark, a little drunk. Sean leaves to try and switch the power on. He flicks a switch and illuminates a window with lots of zombies looking through. He returns to the others and tells Liz that they must have followed him. She says that they should all be quiet just as Ed wins on the slot machine. The noise attracts zombies to the window. Suddenly, the zombified landlord stands up behind the bar and the jukebox starts to play. They hit him with pull cues, but it's no use. As David tries to stop the music, he flicks all the switches and the Winchester lights flash on and off, attracting more zombies. Eventually, Ed grabs a Winchester rifle that is behind the bar and uses it to hit the landlord. Ed wonders why he didn't just shoot it. Sean thought it was just a fake, but it fires. Sean formulates a plan, but as Liz takes Barbara away to safety, she notices that she has been bitten. Sean fires at the approaching zombies. Liz calls him and Barbara explains what happened. She slowly slips away. David has been left with the rifle and says that he needs to shoot Barbara. Sean won't let him and they argue about it. But as Liz tries to convince him that it's the right thing to do, a zombified Barbara stands up. They all tell Sean to do it and he blows her head off. David tells him that he did the right thing and Sean punches him in the face. David points the rifle at Sean and shoots, but there are no shells left inside. David gets up to leave, but Diane yells at him and tells him that he's being stupid. She tells him to apologize to Sean just as zombies burst through the window and start tearing him apart. As Liz and Diane try to pull him back, they are left with his legs in their hands. Diane uses the leg to hit the zombies, but they take her also. Everyone else uses whatever they have to fight the zombies. Ed tries to use the spirits to light a fire. Zombie Pete comes in and bites Ed. Sean shoots Pete in the head. Liz and Sean dive over the bar and call for Ed. He follows them over, then starts a fire on the bar top. Sean can't reach the shells through the flames and the zombies start to enter the bar. They escape down a hatch in the bar to the cellar, but find that they are trapped. Sean is upset that he has been unable to save everyone else. The zombies bang on the hatchway. They contemplate taking their own lives as Ed bleeds in the corner. Sean and Liz rekindle their romance over a cigarette, but then Sean discovers the lift through which they could escape. Ed says to leave them as the zombies make their way through the cellar hatch. As Sean and Liz emerge on the street above, they prepare to fight, but the army arrives and mow the zombies down. Yvonne is with them and leads them away with her. Six months later, Liz is watching television. Sean comes in and they make plans for the day. While Liz makes a cup of tea, Sean goes to the shed. A zombified Ed is playing on the computer. Sean sits with him and they play games together. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.